What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new series of Manor Lords. This game's currently in early access and available today. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have a link to the game in the description, and uh, you guys can go check it out on Steam. But anyways, let's hop on into this. It is a kind of life, not life simulation, more of a city building game with some cool medieval stuff. I've been addicted to Game of Thrones uh, more recently, so I think this is a perfect fit for that. What we're going to do is we're going to build up the coolest kingdom ever, hopefully expand kind of conquer some areas have some small fighting there's a little bit of fighting in here but really it's a city builder at heart and as a person who plays a lot of city building tycoon management simulation games it is right up my alley also this was developed by a single developer which is sick because what i've seen so far it's been getting great ratings let's not waste any time let's kind of hop on into this i gotta pick what i want to look like let's be the Let's be the cocky young kid, you know? He looks kind of kind of smug. I'm all about it. And then let's pick a... Let's pick one of the sigils here. So we got to figure out what we want to do. Maybe the raven. I think the raven's kind of sick. What is this? I don't know what that is. A shovel? Maybe. A pot? Oh, let's do the wall, because we're going to focus on the, the wall part. That's going to be our big thing. Yeah. I, I'm planning on making sure that we have the coolest, most substantial base you've ever seen in your life. Oh, jeez. What? No, no, no. We're just going to do that. Cool. Scale. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Right there. No, wait. One more. Oh. Boom. Wow, they really let you design that. I actually, got to be honest, don't care too much about this. Let's hop on in. Uh, we'll go by default. All right, there's three options here. Premise, fulfill the requirements of your citizens. Plan and rule your medieval town as you fit, see fit without worrying about combat. Oh, no. No, we need a little bit of combat. Two territories in the north are claiming by the legitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand your own pace. When ready, challenge the Baron. We're going to do this one, I think. That one sounds good. Um, eliminate the other lords by claiming their territories. What are your other options? Conquest, claim all regions to win. None. Growth, reach a town settlement level. Let's do domination, I guess. I actually, I kind of don't want to change any of these. It's my first playthrough. I don't really know what's going on. So I'd much rather not make any changes and we just work with the default. So let's hop on into this. Let's not waste any more time. I've been told that this game doesn't have a great tutorial right now, which is fine for me as someone who plays probably more than enough city building games. I don't think I need a hand-holding tutorial. I hope. Hopefully I, don't, uh, hopefully I don't misspeak there. All right. Build up your town, your manor, and when you're ready, press claims towards re regions owned by your opponent. Once a claim has been pressed, you're ready to battle. Cool. And manor lords' families need food, fuel, and roof above their heads. Supplies in the region panel. All right. So, roads. Pretty simple. Yeah. Cool. And then we have, like, basic construction. Kind of just hovering over everything, seeing what it's all about. So we have a logging camp, a woodcutter's lodge, a saw pit, forester's hut, hunting camp, and all that. Good. Every region of manor, lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure all resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before. Got it. Cool. All right. So looks like this is all of our space. Wait, what's that? S Berry season. All right, let's see what we can do to get that kind of moving. Uh, workers plant trees in specialized zones. Forging. Cool. So what we should do is get forging near this. They said they should be near the road. So I think the best thing that we should do is probably build out some, some roads here. I'm just going to connect the road back to over here, maybe. Boom. And then I'm going to place a forging thing here. And hopefully... I'm sure they'll forge out there, right? Uh, Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Okay. So, timber requires an oxen. 
Uh, villagers will automatically get to the ox when they need to. Lodging, woodcutters. I'm assuming we should get probably one of everything, right? You'd, you'd assume, right? What's this? Logging. We'll collect timber. Okay. Um, I'm going to put it right next to our berries there. Do I have the resources? Looks like we are okay on resources, sort of. So we got the logging, woodcutters, workers sell nearby trees to produce wood. What does this do? Workers. Oh, wait, they both do? What's the difference between the two? Oh, just the construction cost. Oh, well, I guess we'll do both. I don't know. I probably should have started off with this one is my assumption. Saw pit. Workers transform timber into planks. We probably need that as well. And this is Forester. Workers plant trees in specialized zones. I don't think that's probably necessary. All right, so that's that. What else? So we have some other options here. Stone cutters. It's saying we need this exposed goods. Goods are exposed, build a storehouse. Okay, so let's build a storehouse here. How much is this? That's two. It's gonna pretty much take up all my money. Uh, let's build it here. It's kind of like our center of town right now, so why not? All right, so now we got a storehouse. Uh, exposed goods. We also need a granary. And then homelessness. Oh, we need houses. Uh-oh. So this is interesting. So this is the house system, which I think is super cool. Let me show you guys. So let's let's build a house like maybe over here. I can show you. Is there a way to lock that in? So the houses build in a very, so that says like that, look, so that's a house and there's something in the back there, like something in addition to it. So it's kind of interesting, man. Let's let people hopefully collect some wood here. I think everyone's kind of building right now. So hopefully we have a house built in no time. And from there we can kind of take the next steps. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors signed. Yeah, right back. You have no rightful claim to... Wait. Wait, what? Request funds? I don't know what the... Wait, is this where we are? Oh my gosh, we only have this small section? Wow, we're going to have to do a lot of, a lot of fight in here. I have to really uh really claim some territory all right where are we right now we are here right yep there we are cool all right i sped up the game a little bit so hopefully we have uh wood in no time you know we oh wait do we have wood i can't tell we have food the building has no assigned families select one Do I? Oh. So this now has two assigned people. Boom, so now they're kind of collecting food, cool. Sure, everything needs like one person, right? How, is this total population? Is there unassigned people? Where does it say who's unassigned? Oh, we're gonna need more wood, so let's just. Oh, see, there's no more people available. Okay, there you go. Cool. But anyways, we we now have some of the basics, so let's build ourselves a couple houses here. It's probably our next goal. Flexible borders. Place four points to design. Designated area, use a cursor. Yeah, look at that. So these houses, like you can put houses. It's kind of sick, man. Like that's so cool that they kind of let you have a little bit more flexibility with it. Oh, we still don't have wood. We have one timber, but it's being used. Oh wait, I think we're currently cutting it all. Don't cut the don't cut the timber. We just need the timber right now. I'm sure we got enough wood now, yeah? Hope. Cool. 
Let's try this. Yeah, it says we got enough. All right, let's go here. How far back should we go? Yeah, look at that though. Such a cool system. What is it? Not further enough back is my assumption. What are your options? Oh. Right, go for it. Build it up, guys. Let's check it out. We got to get a couple more houses down anyways. Unassigned families needed construction work. So should I just unassign one person so they can start constructing? How oh, they're building now. Cool. Exposed stocks are getting spoiled. Oh, yeah. We need a granary, too. All right. Let's build that granary quick. Hopefully sell ourselves up so we aren't uh, we aren't we aren't starving too much. Where's the granary? I just want to make sure we got enough roads, man. I connect it? No, you can't go all the way out there. Got it. I want to build this entire area as a city district. As like a housing district here. Hopefully. To get more population, you need to have enough empty plots. Your approval also needs to be above 50. All right, well, we're going to have more empty plots in no time. Yeah, I know homelessness is killing me. I know, I know. We're we're getting we're getting it fixed, man. We're getting it fixed. I'm gonna try and build more. Uh, maybe we should try now, I guess, to build more houses. What if I like. Need, what does it say? Road? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. They're making you do this. That'll be the front. Got it. Something like that. What is rotating it to? Oh, if you rotate like that, you'd have three houses, but then we would be facing the wrong direction. Oh, wait. You can face it that way. Oh, do that. That'll be three houses. There shouldn't be homelessness, hopefully, after those houses. I hope. There'll be smaller houses nonetheless, but at least there'll be houses. None at least there'll be houses, you know? Provides drinking water. Oh, maybe we should build this. I don't know. I'm not sure how important that is, but I'm sure it'll be important. So let's just build it. We got a new little houses, man. Wait, you didn't pick what's in the backyard? Oh, that's sick. Uh, allows growing of vegetables, requires plowing and harvest, yields depend on plot size. Sure. Settlement level, small village. Oh, well. Can you also do something? For the next one, I guess. That's kind of cool. That's cool you can do that. Like, I think that's kind of cool. Oh. Should we set up the system to replant trees? Is that... I noticed that was like an option somewhere and I'm worried we might, will we ever run out of like, ooh, a tavern. One unsigned, four signed. Oh wait, it looks like we probably have more people now. Oh no, wait, there was only one unassigned. I'm stupid. Why did I think we had more people? It literally says one unassigned. Look at these little houses. Look at how cute they are. 
I really like him. Uh, I guess we just have a population of a lot of kids. We already got approval up. Oh, there's still homelessness? Really? I thought we would have resolved that, honestly. Felt like we did a lot. To, I felt like we built a lot of houses, but I guess not enough. Build them. If we have to build more, I'll build more. I want to get everyone no homelessness here. Please. We need one guy free to build those houses. What's this? Oh, that's a storehouse and this is the granary. Oh, wait, you need someone in the granary? Wait, why do you need someone in the granary? Wait, wait. More market area for the granary? New development? Oh. New development point. Whatever the heck that is. What's the new message? A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlements. Likely a shipment of weapons has just arrived and you will now... Right, let's, I guess we're going to have to form a militia? Like, chill out. Oh, crap. After you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make sure your region uh, more efficient. To enact policies by building administration buildings. Oh. Permanent market stall. Trading guns. Establishing a new trade route. You plow, sheep, breeding, trapping. Double the capacities of berries. Beekeeping. I guess we'll just do that for now. I'm hoping we can build these houses, get all the homeless people done. And then we can focus on the next thing, whatever the next thing is. Unless, are these not for people? No, this is residential. I'm like trying to figure out why people aren't like, the people wait for more plots causing us loss of approval, possibility of freezing. I built more plots though. Like I'm kind of confused on. Oh, nobody has a church access though. Oops, we might have to figure that one out. Like now there should be more plots. So now more people can live in here, right? Am I crazy? Do I need a assign people? People. Why is there no families residing? Oh, there is. <laughs> oh no! Why is there no people residing in these? I don't. I don't get it. Like we have these. How how do I assign them? Reassign family to a different workplace, show workplace. No. I want all the families to take a house, man. Please, take my homes. I built these for you guys. Why'd I build these homes if no one's gonna live in them? Someone move in. Market supply. I keep saying these people don't have homes. I want you guys to have a home. I built these for people to live in. Maybe we need to like upgrade it once. I don't know. All right, let's let this finish upgrading, I guess, and then we'll see. Trying to figure out what else is here. Tannery, weavers. Farmhouse. Used to employ families on the field. Farm houses plow the fields as soon as the winter passes, but no later than November. Then they, s oh, that's kind of cool. Pasture, sheep farm, windmill. 
provides living spaces for a single family or two. Marketplace. Firewood cart. Food cart. Tavern. Wooden church. I feel like... Is anyone living here yet? Like, it says no one's residing. Please, someone go reside in those homes. How, how do I do that? Now I gotta figure that out. Wait. Click on this guy. Can you... Can I... Can I give you a home, sir? Sir, please just let me give you a home. Sir, let me give you a home. I have these homes here built for you guys. Map, army, constructing, help. Approval, no. Family. All right, families uh, each consume one food, fuel. Families live in residential buildings, and the family level is equal to the level of their housing. Each family can be assigned to a specific workplace unless they're artisans, then it permanently works at their home. Male family members, husbands and sons, can become part of the militia. That's it? No, I can't figure out how to do this. I feel like they should be... Like, I built these homes... Maybe maybe you need the amenities? Like, do we need a church? Maybe a church is necessary, maybe. Can I build a church yet? Where is that? I saw it earlier. Let me find it again. Wooden church. Oh, we gotta build planks, though. Alright, we'll assign someone. Alright, we need 20 planks. Let's make it happen. Still don't understand why everyone's homeless. Living spaces, total population. Like we have 14 living spaces and should I build one more house? Oh nice, we almost have enough planks though. That's good. You accept planks there? You do. All right, people are suffering from disease. Access to herbs might speed up the recovery. Well, not happening. All right, let's build the church, and maybe that'll help. Just the thing's huge. Still don't understand the homelessness, guys. Well, I guess I'm going to probably upload this episode, so someone leave a comment on how I assign people. Sure, I'm just missing it somewhere. It still has nobody assigned here. Abandoned camp was sighted. Well, that's not good considering I have yet to even build a militia. I kind of want everyone to have a house first. Let's, let's build the church and then then we'll figure it out. What if I need to get the market stalls? I want to finish this church before we... Oh, jeez, it's September. It's going to be cold soon. No! Oh, jeez. And we still have everyone homeless. Uh-oh. Where does a marketplace go? Oh, marketplace kind of just builds like everything else. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Marketplace. Well-supplied marketplace is the live lifeblood of your town. Uh, assigned families with will uh, assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space on the market. Hover over the, the supply and demand. Oh, that's kind of cool. In fact, one guy made this entire thing is crazy.
Well, now they have stalls at least. That's good, all right? At least we have some of the basics finished. Yeah, well, we really don't need to do another. We finish up this church quick, and then I'd feel like we're in a good spot, potentially. I was just hoping I could... Man. We need more oxes is what we need. That ox is just being worked to his bone. We probably need more people. Resource stolen by nearby bandits? Well, great. I guess that's life at this point. Like, what am I going to do? I really can't defend ourselves until we at least have housing for everybody. I say we ass unassign everyone real quick. See if we can just get this show on the road, you know? Everyone start working on this. Come on, let's get this done. Oh my gosh, look at how much quicker it is. All right, everyone has church access. Talk to me. All right, we're gonna call it there. Guys, tell me how to assign a family. Leave a comment down below. Inform me how to assign a family. Clearly, I'm stupid, okay? Let's just say it as it is. I'm dumb. I can't figure it out. Tell me how to assign a family. All right, guys. I'll catch you in a future episode. Thanks for the love and support. See you, dudes.